RBGFM, locals talking to locals. We're talking to the Secretary of the Kapiti Minitarawi, that's Tony Brown, and welcome him to our programme this morning. Morning, Tony. Yeah, hi there, how's it going? I'm good. Now, there's a couple of um, licences you've got to get to get operating again, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct. One, one, one is, one is uh, run, uh, operated by the uh, KCDC, Yeah, and uh, that's just a basically a rubber stamp. Um, it lasts for a year and it's a certificate or permit to operate because we operate in one of their parks. Okay. Uh, it's public property. And the other one is a WorkSafe permit, which is a bit more technical. Um, this is the one that takes quite a bit of time to apply for, fill in all the gaps and uh, get that sorted. Now, the procedure is that we get an audit done. Now, that audit involves quite a lot of work as far as the site is concerned. What we have to do is get a, an auditor who's normally a member of MEANS, that's um, Model Engineering Association of New Zealand, uh, to come and inspect and, um, and approve all the uh, settings in, in, the, um, in the area, yes. like the buildings, tunnels, bridges, and there's also paperwork like all the warrant of fitnesses for the locos and the carriages, there's the driver's licences and such like that. And um, that audit had been scheduled for some time and it actually has been done and passed. So the next situation is to gather all the paperwork, which I'm doing as we speak, yes. and send that to Mian's headquarters, which is in Dunedin. They hold it for and set it for about a day or so, and then it goes to the Department of Labour, which is now called WorkSafe. Uh, quite a convoluted exercise. At the moment, I'm trying to annotate all the um, different listings of the locos and the carriages and make sure they're all correct because they've got, they've got to be um, they've got they've got to be all included. Um, the WorkSafe permit lasts for two years, and it expired at midnight on the 17th, which I think was a Saturday. The Saturday, yeah. The KCDC one lasts a year. And one of the problems we have is both these permits have different start-stop dates, so everything's all uh, uh, overlapped and underlapped. And we're not, a, we're not the only club that's in, in this situation. I believe the KCDC told us that we're the only permanent amusement device outfit in Kapiti. Yes. Most of the others are just little fairground things with Ferris wheels and they're all temporary, but we're the only permanent one. So I, as a result of all this, I went in last week to ask if we could get the KCDC permit extended, and um, they said no because your WorkSafe permit expires midday Saturday, midnight Saturday, and uh, so that that was it. They did say you, they didn't say that you couldn't run, but they did say that you could be at risk of uh, being in breach of the Amusement Devices Act. Sure, because you, you only discovered so we decided this. Not to. Y- yeah, uh, for Sunday, and um, we completed the audit on Sunday, which was quite successful. So at this stage, um, I'm gathering all the paperwork, and uh, that'll be hopefully sorted today. Sure, because you only discovered this uh, KCDC permit it expired when about October last year. Just when you, because you've yeah. only just taken over as a secretary, so you're doing That's all the right exactly things. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah, I'm new to it, so I haven't, haven't gone through all this process before. No. Um, but in hindsight, I wish I hadn't gone down there because KCDC knew absolutely nothing. Yes. about this and I just wonder in hindsight if I hadn't gone down there things would have just carried it on as they had but however how do you uh, say knock somebody over I'm just because it's such a busy place down there knock someone yeah. over injured them or even gone to the worst state of killing them there may have been a, a more yeah. serious um, uh, inference for you folks in the long run well KCDC basically a rubber stamp yeah um, we you know we've got plenty of safety uh, records and, and processes in place sure and um, we've got to Prove in the audit uh, that you know we have these these, these safety situations in place, yes. uh, just just like any other uh, machinery type operation. So the WorkSafe permit is the most important one. Yeah, exactly, that's the most important one, and unfortunately, that's the one that takes so long to get. Uh, being a government department, they're not they don't do things overnight. Right, but uh, you now have got to wait till the KCDC gives you permission to carry on running as well, and they're just waiting for the WorkSafe permit. Are yeah, they? well, I don't think yeah. Once the WorkSafe permit is issued, I don't think KCDC will take too too long to issue their part of it no. because I don't think they'd be too slow. So they're really protecting themselves too, aren't they? 
I mean, the same. Oh, situ- look, I can understand him. Yes. I, I fully appreciate their point of view, but I do know there are other other, other local authorities that uh, actually grant the extent as long as they know that there's an orders in place. Sure. There's uh, that that actually happens with other clubs, but not not with us. Uh, KC. DC choose not to yeah. and that's their prerogative, that's fine Yep. The thing is, you haven't been operating outside of your work safe permit because it only expired on Saturday so you're just doing no, the right, right thing by waiting for the new yep. one to come through Yeah. Unfortunately because of the timing and the fact that I'm fairly new to the job um, and this is the third time it's happened yes. um, it's, not, it's not an easy hill to climb so to speak, um, to get all this sorted uh, in a timely fashion but one thing I've learned, uh, when we get to get next time, we're going to put a big red sticker on it in the club room and say, uh, start renewing your audit about three months yes. before, because otherwise this will happen again. So work safe. Uh, how long will it take to get the permit through from them now, Tony? Well, it has taken up to six months. Oh, my gosh. Um, they claim 20 working days. We'd yep. like to think it's going to be a lot quicker, because we do have a couple of events. We have Easter, of course, and a week later we've got what we call a twilight run. Yes. And um, we'd like to think that we'd be able to run for that, but we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. We'll just have to keep the pressure on them and um, see what we can do. Have you spoken to them at all? That's work safe. Have you spoken to them? No, not as yet. Don't really want to speak to them until we uh, they get the paperwork from me and, um, right. which should hopefully be towards the end of this week. Right. So you've got a fair bit of paperwork still to go into work safe, have you? Well, yep, I'm doing it now, but that should all be addressed by by the end of today. Goodness. I'll be, I'll be posting it down there. So in actual fact, you're just tidying up the whole operation, which is m- um, more than needed by the sounds of it. Well, the auditor came, and he generally didn't find anything wrong. All our uh, processes are in place. Um, it's just that there are a few things that we have to sort out, like we've got to take photos. Yes. I've got to go back down the club this morning and um, take certain very prescriptive photos of the locos and carriages. Um, and oh yeah we've got to send a check to work safe and um, yeah, sure. there's two, two other forms which um, we have to fill in which I've already done so it's just yeah, it's just tidying up past right. work at the moment Alright Tony well we hope you get that certificate through fairly soon so we can have the twilight run yeah, well, hopefully sooner than better. <laughs> yes. Um, just uh, on the behalf of the club, I've just apologise to everybody who may be inconvenienced um, over the next next week or so, or a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll just do the best we can. You've got to remember, too, that we're, you know, we're a bunch of old men in the <laughs> yes. club. The average age is about 70. Yes. We are a voluntary group, and... Um, you know, sometimes things uh, just don't go the way we want them to, and uh, this is one of those cases, so we have to apologise for that. I'm sure you'll have it all back on track, if you excuse the pun, before long, Tony. <laughs> yeah. OK. OK, uh, thank you appreciate for, it. Thank you for your time this morning. There we are, Tony Brown. He's the new secretary for the Kapiti Miniature Railway. 106.3 BGFM.